All right, guys, KB32 here. Check in. Alan's sitting over here in the Freedom Office. And um, literally, uh, this is a cup of coffee I just poured myself. And this was a my Happy Father's Day cup from my kids back in, I want to say, 2013. That's absolutely incredible. Uh, so I still, it's one of my favorite cups. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about Maryland Governor Wes Moore. And this is an article written by John L. Dorman in Insider. It's a left-winging rag, of course. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. But Maryland Governor Wes Moore says he's not scared of the gun lobby. Uh, you and me. He's not scared of us. Well, of course he's not. He's got surrounded by armed guards. Well, why would he? After the NRA sued him over the state's new gun control law. Yeah, this guy, uh, I got a lot to say about him individually, but we won't say that. So when a Maryland governor, Westmore, was campaigning for office last year, he spoke out forcefully against gun violence. Well, who doesn't speak out forcefully against gun violence? I speak out against gun violence. I don't like gun violence. You like gun violence? I don't think anybody in this world likes gun violence. Uh, as a matter of fact, in one of his great city of Baltimore, in 2022, the 332 homicides with the use of a handgun. They had almost 600 or in excess of 600 non-fatal shootings. Wonder why? Wonder why? Wonder why? You tell me in the comments down below, wonder why. After signing sweeping gun control laws in the <laughs> last month into law, uh, the NRA uh, promptly sued the government. Of course they did. Guys, all they want to do is, uh, you know, basically preserve our right. Here's the funny thing. He's out here is telling everybody he's against gun violence, but he's just making laws to do only one thing, and that's prevent you, the law-abiding citizen, from protecting yourself. And it's interesting how they keep going back to this. Uh, but during an interview with the former White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, I kind of think she's hot. What do you guys think? On the MSE's MSNB show, Inside with Jen Psaki, i got to start watching this. Moore said he wasn't discouraged by the legal action taken against him over the new measures. I've seen some pretty tough enemies before in my life, and I'm not scared of the gun lobby. What you need to do there more is go on into Baltimore, run down the streets, go after the people who are actually doing the gun violence thing, because it's not me, and it's not the people that watch this channel. You know what I'm getting at? You know what I'm getting at? It's the criminals. Go after them. All you're doing is... Pfft, writing a pathetic law that prevents me, the law-abiding citizen, from protecting myself, my family, and my homestead. Oh, after the U.S. Supreme Court last year strengthened the second, I said, say it like this is a bad thing after the U.S. Supreme Court last year strengthened the Second Amendment, allowing individuals to carry guns outside of their homes for self-defense. Many states decried the ruling, argued it would make it more difficult to tackle the scourge of gun violence that has touched nearly every facet of American life in recent history. So, <clears throat> so here's the thing. You ever heard this thing, a uh, armed society, it's a polite society? If the guy who knows knows that you might have the potential of carrying a firearm, well, you're less likely to get robbed, okay? And secondly, when you see people with the license tag from New Jersey, uh, Maryland, Baltimore, uh, like that, uh, Connecticut, New York, the likelihood that they're carrying a firearm in that car, well, guess what? You become a potential uh, a potential victim just because people know that the laws in your state don't allow you to exercise the Second Amendment. Gun violence is tearing apart the fabric of our communities, not just through mass shootings, but through shootings that are happening in each of our communities far too often. Uh, yeah, that's not because of the NRA. And it's not because of the GOA or the Second Amendment Foundation. It's not because of the gun lobby, jackass. It's because you refuse to go after the individuals who are actually doing the work. Yeah, you're creating communities that are more dangerous. You're allowing criminals out of office, no cash bail. Go after those jackasses, but you won't. You know why? Because you defund the police. You're making citizens who defend themselves criminals. It's the same way they're doing up there at uh, Major Mayor Adams up in uh, New York. Among several new provisions, Maryland law bars individuals from carrying or transporting a gun in an area for area for children or vulnerable individuals or in special purpose areas. Like what? Uh, children's theaters? Schools? Well, shit. No kidding, right? Uh, <laughs> the new law also prevents individuals from bringing a firearm onto another individual's property unless the owner has a clear sign permitting the individual to have said firearm. 
Well, you know what? Not a problem with me. I'll put a, hey, please use prejudice when using your aim and firearm. This particular provision excludes law enforcement officers, of course, or members of the U.S. military because, well, you know, those uh, police officers need to be able to kill you when you need to, okay? Um, this guy just kills me. Uh, it's a very short article, but it's well worth written, reading. I'm going to put it down below, okay? Um, the gun lobby. Buddy, you just don't need to be uh, scared of the gun lobby. It's no big deal. But the big thing is, is that you're not going after the criminals. And until you do that, well, guess what? It doesn't matter what you do. Your murder rate, your homicide rate, your non-fatal shootings will continue to grow. It's KB32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. We've got a couple of reviews we're going to be going out with this week. Got a really cool uh, M-Spec site mark we're going to do. I am going to do the Cy Lee uh video review on that thing and we got a new uh optic out by primary arms so with that always end them like this god bless america god bless us men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms freedom is not free reflective like video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and have already done so uh in the infamous words of the great uh real cobra burnout boom y'all be good